as uh, the leadership, it would go a long way to help us. Your Excellency, we agree on the issue of the partnership between the national and the county and adjusting our committee, especially on licensing. I think the critical issue of licensing, Your Excellency, is must be looked at. We are the ones licensing, but we would embrace that joint licensing regime because when we don't license, for example, in my county, they go and get support from other leaders. And those leaders put pressure on us on the issue of licensing. Then the issue of limiting the number of bars is going to be very tricky. But if a decision must be taken, Your Excellency, I think we should take a bold decision. How many bars, for example, should there be in Kagio, which only has 5,000 people? There should be a limit. Not every other shop should be a bar. Not every other shop should be a bar and restaurant. Not every restaurant should also be a bar and restaurant. And I think this will also help us quite a bit. Your Excellency, there are some places we should not even negotiate. Next to schools, Your Excellency, we should not have any bar or any drinking institution next, any, any drinking joint next to a learning institution. It should not be allowed. There should be designated places where it is far from our children so that it's also not tempting as the children are going home or they do not get to interact with those kind of people. So Your Excellency, on the issues of legislation, we may suggest to make it easier, maybe have one national legislation which every county customizes or we all just have to comply with it as opposed to every county having a separate legislation on what it is that they are licensing <laughs> and what it is that they're not licensing. And Your Excellency, I say this because when the bar owners and me got into a conflict, the county government of Kirinyaga and the bar owners, if you remember, they actually told me that I am not being very good and I'm not a very good governor because my neighbor, one of my neighbors, is allowing them to do the things that I'm refusing to be done in Kirinyaga. And I said it in the media, I said, then go open your business in the neighbor's county. Don't come to force this county to change the laws because you want to be allowed to go beyond the hours and to also um, serve, let me say, second generational alcohol. So the issue of legislation that is um, cuts across the nation, a national le le legislation would be a great step so that we are not negotiating at this level. And Your Excellency, I'll push it a little further. Not just legislation saying how many bars, where they should be, what category it is see, but even limiting the number. So you say, like we say for health centers, for example, we all know that we should have a health center every seven kilometers minimum. We can find a way of limiting the number of bars, especially, per distance and per population. So everybody knows that beyond this distance, I do not expect to find a um, drinking joint. Your Excellency, the final thing that I would um, want to suggest, and, um, and I hope that I will all be able to uh, collaborate, not just in central Kenya, but across the country, is the issue of bringing all the leaders, including all the leaders at the county level, to the table. Your Excellency, I know we called, I know this meeting is mostly for policy makers and practitioners, but I will tell you the greatest help that I have had in the fight against illicit bruise in Kerenyaga has been from my county assembly. And the reason being, even when they tried to call the county assembly, even when they tried to lobby to change our legislation at the county level, because I had already engaged them and they were supporting, they refused. And so Kirinyaga has been able to retain the numbers uh, the way they are. So I will request you, Excellency, you may consider calling the MCAs, not just the representative by the speaker and the majority leader, but the members of the county assembly in this region and everywhere to understand the importance of adopting the legislation as is 
from the national government. I think that will go a very long way to save on time and to also enable us to have quick wins to ensuring that we are curbing the menace for drug and substance abuse. Thank you, Your Excellency.